Larry. Yes. We're here downtown Los Angeles. You're homeless. You told me you got your tent. Somebody burned your tent up. The yeah, other they burnt my tent up and almost burnt my dog up. I got there just as fast as I could. When I seen him light it, he took off running in a, a gray hoodie. And when I got there, my tent, like I said, I was trying to put my tent out and trying to get rev, the blank, uh, rev my dog out because his blank, the blanket he was wrapped up in was on fire and everything. And he was sound asleep. And I almost didn't get him out in time. But I lost everything I had. I mean, I had a little bit of money. I stashed away every day, put a dollar in a deal so for rent. So when I can find, get me a place to live. Because right. I don't like living, sleeping in the street. I mean, it was all right when I was in the military, but I'm not in the military anymore. So you're a veteran. Yeah, and my veteran rep at the uh, Roslyn didn't do a damn thing for me because I sat there and told them what was going on, what happened, and, and everything. And they still didn't do a damn thing. Oh, my gosh. So, what's your dog's name? My dog's name is Rebel, after James Dean. Rebel without a car. <laughs> because I got him from some people who hit him with a metal cane right here. Oh, my God. And he looked like a skeleton. I mean, I've seen skeletons look better than him. And I took him away from him, and they hit me with a metal cane. I got about six stitches, and they told me they're going to call the co co cops on me. I said, go ahead, call the cops on me because you'll go to jail for brutality to an animal plus what you did to me. And finally, a security guard heard the record, so he came around the corner and started walking in this way, and they threw me his paper and his uh, everything. So you can keep the damn mutt. I said, the only mutt is you. And then when he jumped on me, he was afraid to be pet because he, ah, and hell, one, I didn't notice, but one paw was clipped. The others looked like Freddy Cougar came back alive as a dog. <laughs> You've been taking care of them. Oh, heck yeah. I tried for almost two, almost almost half a month. So, I'm sorry. For yeah, almost no, a half a month uh, for somebody else to, uh, to take care of him better than me. But I fell in love with the sucker. And I, so I named him Rebel Without a Cause after James Dean. And now he comes first. If I can't buy, buy him nothing to eat, I sure hell ain't buying me nothing to eat. Cause oh, I gotta feed him first, cause he's I, I, definitely healthy and friendly. Oh hey, yeah, I kinda need him. Came over hey, and Rebel, said hello. high five, Rebel, high five, come here, high five. That's the only trick he learned was high five. <laughs> but he's my boy. So how long have you been out here? I've been out here about four years now, and I've been trying to find work before this virus thing came along, yeah. and I find a part you now. One day jobs for a couple hours, whatever, but you know, it was better than nothing. So you were, you said you were in an SRO? Yes. And it was really a dumpy place? It was, Would it was dumpy. They, half time I didn't have hot water. I mean, I had well, hot water for my sink, but for my tub, I never, I didn't have hot water. Or on the shop. And every time, I mean, I'd be getting them, they'd fix it, and then it'd, it'd get, back. I'd end up with no hot water in a couple of months. I have, still have no hot water, no heat because the heaters in there didn't no, work. No refrigeration, you and said the your food would go bad. And the refrigerator was starting to, I had about, 20, a friend of mine uh, sold me $2,400 uh, $2, worth of uh, meat. And it went that bad. Was, and I put my, had it in the freezer where it was fro frozen solid as a rock. And I went down there and told them that my ice box in the freezer was about to go out because it's knocking. So they came upstairs and looked at, the manager did, came upstairs and looked at it and said, yeah, I'll have you one up there in about, 10, 15 minutes. Well, that whole day I waited and I went down and he said, it's coming out. And then it, it, when it got nighttime, he was gone. And, and then the next day I reminded him and he said, okay, we're gonna have it up there. I said, okay. I said, go, I said, go ahead and put, I said, cause I'm gonna be gone cause I gotta look for some work. And, and, and then still it never came. And I, and I reminded him twice a day, every day for, for about six, almost six years. So you survive by panhandling? I said, we have some panhandling. I, what little bit of stuff I get when well, I make panhandling, I try to buy some stuff I could sell maybe and make some money off of it. But first I got to make sure I feed, got food for him. Right. Me, I, can, I, I ain't that, you know, I know I need to eat, but I can go without it a couple of days, but I got to make sure he's got stuff. So I got to buy stuff, what little bit if there is left, I got to buy him something to eat. Yeah. I got to make sure I have, can buy stuff to, uh, Sell so I can have make money because I don't ask people for no money. If they give me some, okay. If not, I, I'm. I Otherwise, you just shake the cup like yeah. you do it. It's like that because yeah. I, I ain't. 
So what's homelessness like downtown? Well, it, it, you got to watch it around here because the people are, are still you blind. I mean, hell, I've, I've had everything stolen from me one, I'm, uh, three times already. I lost my all my clothes that I had that I bought and stuff, my cowboy boots and all that that were brand new, and I've only worn them two or three days times that I had before I got had to get uh, leave the apartment because they were getting ready to evict me because I refused to pay rent because he said they weren't responsible for uh, my groceries and all that stuff, and they kept raising my rent up where I couldn't, I didn't have a job, and I what little bit I was making, I'd pay pay them what I owe and I'd catch up, then I'd get behind, I'd catch it. But they wouldn't pay me back for what I'd lost. And when I go to eat, then what money I make, I go out and eat and buy him food. Whatever food I had left over, if I didn't eat it all at one, at one time, I couldn't keep it. I ended up either had to throw it away or hope it didn't spoil. Is anybody helping you? I know you said that you don't have a phone for the housing people. No. So somebody was trying to help you, some outreach provider, right? Yeah, they were. I, 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 and I ain't been able to get a hold. Of, I mean, they haven't been able to get a hold of me because I haven't been able. To, uh, I ain't got no phone. Right. And the person that got me a phone, it got bur it got all burned up in the fire. Cause I can't afford it. I don't get no deal for uh, Obama. Yeah, the, the tents being caught on fire down here is a is a big issue. Yeah. A lot of the gangs are doing it. They're taxing people. Yeah, well, they they don't they tried to mess with me before, but they listen. I, they ain't nothing compared to what, the years I've put what I've been spent over across the pond. So, well, so you're a wartime veteran. I, I'm just, let's put that I'm a veteran. I got my I got two honorable discharges. I got uh, three or four uh, overseas ri uh, ribbons, and I got. I got some, a, a bunch of medals. I didn't, I didn't want them, but I, I got them any freaking way. Well, you shouldn't be out here. Well, veteran, nobody no should veteran, be out here. Nobody. That's where I. Veterans to help. Veterans, if you're on drugs or alcohol, they got you. They'll help you. But if you're, if veterans that ain't doing, ain't on drugs or alcohol, they're just actually having a rough time. They. They don't give. It won't help you. It's like when I got out, they told me, "Hey, you qualified for a veteran's loan for a loan, you know, you know, a veteran's loan." And they said, "Yeah, we're approved. You're approved, but we don't have the money in the fund right now. But yet they give this guy I know, who owns a owns two car lots, a, a brand new car lot and a used car lot, and stuff. Who was a um, officer." It overseas who was uh, torturing our, our men and stuff and uh, yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. and as prisoners and even killed them yet they give him a damn loan to get the business and get started and how yeah. and so he supposed to pay it back and he's hell he's bought hell like now he, he's bought houses for his kids he's bought cars for his kids and then he bought another car lot in the yeah. store and he still yet hasn't paid all the money back that he borrowed got from the loan but yet they won't give us veterans the loan but they'll give everybody else that's done damage that's hurt and they'll fight against us and all that they'll give them money but they won't get help us and then they wonder and a lot of them no wonder they go on drugs or commit suicide or overdose or go whatever and have bad marriage their marriages go to wreck because they can't get no help but keep it from happening so like, no nobody's helping you no service provider no, no, no nothing right health. now no mental health helping you? No. So, if you had three wishes, what would they be? Well, three wishes? I wish that everybody would uh, can get out from the streets or get help from being homeless. And those are, there's a lot of them that just don't want to get out the streets. And you can't help them no matter how much you try. And, well, I just wish that everybody would start learning how to respect everybody. It ain't about the color of your skin. What is important is the blood, your red blood. You know, that's what we are, red-blooded Americans. If you got my type of blood, I want it. I don't care what damn color. If he has my type of blood, if it's uh, AB negative, if he's got it, I want it. Because <laughs> okay, if it's going to keep me alive, that's what's important. That's what's all that matters in this world. You know, I'm a Democrat, but that, that ain't the point. You know, this country is, I, I vote for, I even believe that, I even vote for some Republicans that, and stuff. I get, you know, I tell them, hey, I want to vote Republican too. What? I said, yeah, because I, there's some good Democrats and there's some Democrats that should be kicked in the ass out. But there's a lot of Republicans that have got some good ideas and stuff that 
it, they just freaking get together and stop uh, fighting over, hey, I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican. We're all red-blooded Americans. Amen. That's what it, we're supposed to help America. You know, Amen. this government is get America back on its feet and help the American people from poor. Well, I mean, I, I don't. The real, rich, the rich don't really, really need it yeah. that much. But the yeah. middle class and the lower yeah. class, and, and then the bottomless yeah. pits like me. So you want to, You wish that we all get along? Yeah, I wish we can all start showing respect. I show respect even to my people I don't like, and then people that are my enemies. I respect them. I may not approve of what they do, but right. that's them. The only person they, I, I, they have to answer to is that man up there. They ain't yeah. me to judge. What, whatever it is they do or not do, well, that man's the judge. It says in the Bible, and I ain't that big of a Christian, but I believe in the Bible, and I believe in the man upstairs, and long enough I keep, I keep faith with him, even though I got my tent burnt down, and that's a good enough excuse to say, but I don't, because I don't blame him. I, it's the guy that did it I blame, but I ask God to forgive him, like I do every night. I pray for well, everybody but me. Yep. Well, I do the same. I pray for other people. And I ain't trying to, you know, I tell Jesus that. I said, Jesus, I know, I know I can't walk in your footsteps and I'm not going to try to do it, you know, be any better than you because I can't and I'm not going to try it. And, I'm sure, and I say, I ain't trying to brown nose you or um, yeah, yeah, do yeah. whatever it is, get, get brownie points and yeah. get out of going to hell if I'm yeah, going to yeah. go. But I'm going to do the best I can. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was an honor to speak to you. Thank you. And pleasure to talk to you, sir. And God bless you all. Have a good night or a good day and be safe out here because they are some nutty people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I rebel.